PillPet presents. Search for Esser Dingley. Spanish police say it's impossible and all but give up. Searching for the missing British hiker Esser Dingley is impossible, Spanish police have said, as rescuers all but give up due to vicious snowstorms blocking the mountain trails in the Pyrenees where she is last seen. Spain's Guardia Civil's Mountain Rescue Brigade in Banasque abandoned their hunt for the 37-year-old Briton on Friday ahead of blizzards and sub-zero temperatures. The conditions continued to batter the picturesque resort and surrounding national park she ventured into. Sergeant Jorge Lopez, head of the Mountain Rescue Brigade, said the Arctic weather conditions made any further expedition up the mountain useless. He told Mail Online, There has been heavy snow last night, which makes a new search today impossible. It's useless to search in a place with more than half a meter of snow. A great effort has been made in search for Esther, but without result. If weather conditions improve, then we may carry out our normal tactical training in the Benesque area so that it doubles as a search. But there's little chance of that happening at the moment. Esther was last seen by fellow hikers heading for the Salavagardia Pass on the 22nd of November. She sent partner Daniel Colligate a selfie picture of herself at the top. The 37-year-old fitness instructor intended to spend the night at a nearby refuge and to send the mountain into France over the following days, but she never arrived. Trails leading up the mountains are now covered with thick snow. Animal tracks, arctic hare, wild goat, lynx, and possibly bear are the only sign of life. The Guardia Civil say that are considering all options but Esther's disappearance. But Sergeant Lopez said it was most probable that she had suffered an accident in the mountains. He said when someone is lost in the mountains, the first hypothesis is always that they are in the mountains. However, the Guardia Civil has dismissed a possible sighting of Esther asleep in her camper van in Banesque 10 days after she vanished. A dog walker raised the alarm when she spotted a figure asleep at the back of the British registered caravan car in a car park at 10 p.m. on the 2nd of December. The local woman called Lucia described the mail online as she saw a person with light brown hair lying down, not moving around or waving their hands. But she claimed she was fobbed off by the Guardia Civil who failed to send anyone to investigate. A Guardia Civil spokeswoman told Mail Online the figure inside the camping car was a plainclothes forensic officer, working at 10 p.m. without protective clothing, and driving an unmarked vehicle. The Spanish authorities appear to be at odds with their French counterparts who are taking part in the bi-national search operation. French Guillermo Captain Jean-Marc Baudino says it's not probable that Esther suffered an accident and her disappearance is either the result of a voluntary act or is the result of someone else's actions. He added that Esther's and Daniel's lives were not as happy as the image posted on social media suggests. His comments comes from officials interviewed Miss Dingley's partner for a third time after her disappearance. Four officers from the French Genami paramilitary force spoke to Collette at the farmhouse in Gascony and he is house sitting on Monday afternoon. Mr. Collette, 38, had stayed at the 1,000 euro a week holiday let while well, long-term partner Esther embarked on a solo hike trip in the Pyrenees Mountains last month. Borneo maintained that Mr. Collette had been interviewed as a witness, not a suspect. Telling Mail Online, we interviewed Daniel Collette at the farmhouse where he is living in the Gares department on Monday. We went to investigate all possibilities. We do not rule any line of inquiry. But it does not seem probable that Esther suffered an accident. It is not credible that she was eaten by a bear, or that she has fallen into a lake. We believe that her disappearance is either the result of a voluntary act or is a result of someone else's actions. We want to see Mr. Collette so that we can go through social media with him, messages, etc. It appears that their lives together were not as happy as the images posted on social media suggest. However, I'd like to stress that we interviewed Mr. Collette as a witness, not as a suspect. The Oxford graduate was interviewed by the French Academies and the Spanish Garda Civil last week about Esther's disappearance. CCTV video released earlier this week showed Miss Dingley in a supermarket in the Pyrenees where a shopper who saw her describe her as looking sad and thoughtful. The fitness enthusiast challenged staff at the Oroski store in Benison over the price of a packet of chia seeds as she provisioned for her march over the mountains on Thursday the 19th of November. A local English teacher could be seen coming to her rescue as Esther fails to understand that manager's explanation over discrepancy in the cost of her shopping as she could not understand Spanish. In the supermarket, the chia seeds have been marked at a discount, which only applied to shoppers in possession of a store loyalty card. Maria Carmen, the teacher who helped Miss Dingley in the shop, explained. Maria Carmen told Mail Online, Esther wanted to buy a packet of chia seeds where she'd discounted, but you only get the discount if you have the Oroski loyalty card. The girl at the tail tried to explain this, but to her, but could not understand because she did not speak Spanish. So the girl called me and I came to explain this to her. She said it didn't matter and bought the seeds anyway. We didn't have a long chat because I was on my way to work, but she seemed a sad, thoughtful. Maria Carmen explained, I saw her a couple of days later doing yoga on the street by her camper van. It is not a usual sight to see someone doing yoga on the street in Venice, so I noticed it. Later I heard that the Englishwoman Esther had gone missing, and I contacted the police and told them how I had helped her. I just hope she is okay. 